Thank you for joining today's High Security NICE Academy. This program introduces you to three exciting NICE linear actuators available to high security and NICE distributors and their installers. But first, a quick reminder. High Security and NICE USA became one company in July 2016. Together, we're stronger with residential to crash product lines. Distributors and installers get access to High Security's commercial to crash products and NICE's residential to commercial products. As you might imagine, integrating companies takes time. We've already paved the way for high security and nice customers to expect more. Today's webinar is just the beginning. So sit back as we kick the tires of our nice linear actuator product line. Let's start with a nice 1500 series. The 1500, 1550, and 1551 are better known as Apollo linear actuators. Tens of thousands of these populate the solar, rural, farm, and residential landscape. Then we'll review the new NICE Titan LA. It has all the features of the 1500 series with some exciting new benefits. We'll end this program by introducing the NICE 1724 LA, a sweet residential operator that moves an up to 400 pound, 14 foot gate leaf. Now let me introduce Frank Pooley, today's trainer. He knows NICE linear actuators better than anyone. He's a technical expert and an exceptional resource. He'll introduce the three LAs on video, then answer your questions live at the end of this short program. Here we go. I'm Frank Pooley with NICE USA. I've been with Apollo Gate Operators since 1991. I installed gate operators prior to coming to Apollo. So I've done tech support. I've done production. Um, I'm technically a product specialist at this time. I do a lot of training on our equipment. I uh, also do a lot of product testing for our equipment and helping research and development, uh, make changes and improvements to our equipment. And uh, I like to come and teach people as much as I know about the equipment. Uh, we have three circuit boards that we currently produce. We have the 636 circuit board, which is what's in our Apollo 1500 that you see here. We also have the 936 circuit board that's in our 1550 systems, and we have the 1050 circuit board that's in our 1551 and in our commercial machines. Um, a couple of these boards are also in some slide gate machines, but today we're talking primarily about the linear actuator swing gate machines. Um, with these three boards, we have two different actuators that we support with them. We have the 816 actuator here. Uh, this, will work, this actuator is going to work with the 636 board. 936 board or 1050 board, all three of them. Uh, the 816 actuator will support up to a 16 foot, 600 pound gate. Um, in the Apollo 1500 format with the 636 board, uh, it is a basic farm and ranch, rural application type operator. Uh, it does not have speed control. It is not UL325 compliant. It is basic open and close, um, timer to close feature, basic obstruction detection, inputs for any accessories you might need, uh, but a basic system again with no speed control and not UL325 compliant. What we're looking for is the lowest cost, uh, highest reliability, we don't really care about features, we just want that gate to open and close remotely so we don't have to get out of the truck to open the gate. And mostly solar. And mostly solar. But when you do have a failure, again, real simple, uh, all the newer boards have pluggable connectors. You unplug the connectors, you take the four screws out to replace the board, put it back in, plug the connections back into it, plug the motor back into it. Very, very simple mm -hmm. if you do need to replace a board for some reason. Most of our installers who have used our equipment have had extremely good success with them, very good reliability with them, and they know they're a product that they can sell, they can install, uh, very few callbacks, very little service after the sale, just an extremely reliable unit that they know they can go and make a sale, make a good profit, and not have to keep, keep making callbacks and, and making service calls on uh, something that isn't reliable. As far as numbers in the field, it's really hard to even estimate uh, how many of these operators are, are out there and still functioning. I would estimate in the hundreds of thousands. Uh, the Apollo 1500, like I said, has been built since 1986. Uh, I came on in 1991, and so for the last 25 years, I've had firsthand proof of, of how many have sold, how many get installed, and the reliability and, and the very few returns that we see on them. Uh, just a staggering number of these units in the field, uh, especially in Texas, 
California, Arizona, Florida. These are just incredibly high sales volumes units. Um, one thing that we haven't touched on yet is the different actuator that we have up here. We've already talked about the 816 actuator and how it's available in the 1500, the 1550, and the 1551 with the 1050 board. Again, those would all be in the standard metal enclosure. These other enclosures are options. Um, we also have, though, have a Titan series actuator. And this is a Titan series actuator. Um, it's a more streamlined, more attractive unit. Um, it has some really neat features compared to the 816 actuators. Uh, one of them, as uh, my friend here is probably demonstrating, is that our extension tube actually doesn't rotate in this unit, okay? Whereas the act these are both linear screw drive actuators, the 816 actuator, when it is disconnected from the gate, if it's activated, it'll have a tendency to rotate, and the length of that actuator can be changed, and when you hook it back up to the gate, it causes the gate not to open and close properly. The, it appears that the limits have been modified or changed, that's not, in fact, what's happened. Just the length of the screw has been changed by rotating the silver shaft. So one of the things that we did when we developed the Titan actuator here is we made it so this extension tube doesn't rotate. It's keyed. It doesn't rotate. So that's a big advantage. Um, this unit is also a little more sleek, a little more streamlined. It's a little narrower. So we don't have to worry as much about contact with the gate when the gate's coming fully open and that operator is getting a little closer to the gate. Whereas with the 816, it's a little wider body. And if we're trying to open that gate past 90 degrees, sometimes you'll see contact with the gate to the body of the actuator, which of course we don't want. Um, other features with the Titan actuator, uh, besides its good looks, uh, is a mechanical release. Right here we have a lever that pulls up, it's keyed, um, and once we get that up, we can actually push and pull the gate open and close without disconnecting the operator from the gate. So we have a way of manually opening the gate in case we have a failure, either a power failure, battery failure, board failure, whatever it might be, there is a mechanical release, and we don't have to get tools to remove the pin or the bolt and disconnect the operator from the gate. Of course, we would need to have location of the keys because that is a key to release right there. And of course, this is just the cover that sits on it. Uh, when that cover is removed, we have access to our limit assembly and our wiring here for our wiring harness. So it makes it real easy to replace a harness if a harness becomes damaged. Also gives us a visual on the limit assembly. We can see what's going on. We can see the adjustments we're making. Uh, we really think the Titan, uh, it is new. Uh, it has been baby test for two years. Um, it's proven itself very reliable, reliable so far. Seems to be a very good unit. Um, customers that have used it have loved it. Uh, they like the appearance. They like the ease of installation. They like the accessibility to the limits and to the cord. Uh, also, it's a very easy unit to repair in the field. Um, if it does become damaged, for example, if we need to replace a motor, it's simply four bolts in the bottom, remove the bottom cover, two more bolts to replace the motor. If we need to replace a screw assembly or cover tube, it's four bolts right here, two more bolts from the top, the entire screw assembly comes out, a new one goes in. So it's very easy to repair in the field as compared to the 816 actuator that takes a, a higher degree of, of mechanical ability to, to, disconnect, to take it apart and repair. I think a lot of people are going to stay with our 800 series actuators just because of the proven reliability. And some people are a little, um, they don't really like to change. And so they figure if it's not broke, why fix it? And so they may be a little resistant to, to jump over. So there's no plans to, to do away with the 800 series actuator. So they plan on continuing to manufacture them as long as there's a demand for them. And I'm sure that demand will be for a very long time. Uh, as opposed to the Titan actuators, uh, it is relatively new, but already proven in the field. As I said, we've had them out for over two years now. Um, extremely durable, very good looking. And I believe as time progresses, we'll see more people move from the 816 actuators over to the Titans. What we have here 
is our C box 636, which is going to be our standard control box. It's going to be a metal box. It's 18 inches wide, 18 inches tall, 8 inches deep with the 636 board in. Uh, this box is available as a C-Box 636, which will have the 636 board in, a C-Box 936, which would have the 936 board in, or a C-Box 1050, which would have the 1050 board in. So the same box with three different boards. The design of this particular box is best geared for your solar applications because we can fit the largest battery in this box. We have other smaller boxes and those are more geared for our locations where we're going to have AC power and we're going to be charging the battery with AC power through a fully automatic battery charger um, and we can have a smaller battery in the system. But this box, being this large, allows us to fit a minimum of 70 amp hour battery is what we recommend into the control box for the best reliability and the best functionality in a solar system. This is our compact box, what we call a mini box. This would be an S-Box 936. Um, it's just a narrower box designed for a somewhat smaller battery. When we're not going to be using solar, we would put a 35 amp hour battery in this box typically. This is the M-Box 1050. So an M-Box is our mini plastic box. We call that the M-Box. So an M-Box 1050 is going to be the 1050 board in this plastic box. 1050 board and it is going to include two 7 amp hour batteries and the switching power supply. The 1724 operator is currently being sold with the Tuna or T5 actuator and we connect it, we combine it with the MB 1050 and to make what we call a 1724. So this control unit with the 1050 board and the Tuna, Tuna 5 motor it would be combined to make a 1724. Um, it's a nice actuator. It, it's got a European look to it. Um, it's a fixed length actuator. It doesn't have an actual extension tube that goes in and out. Being a fixed length actuator, it still has a main drive screw in here. But there's a trolley that rides on that main drive screw with a, with a connection pin at the bottom that moves back and forth. So there is a fixed link to the actuator. It doesn't get longer or shorter. Just a trolley moves back and forth within the fixed length of the unit. Um, they're nice units. They're, they're smooth. They're good looking. Our linear actuators are, in my opinion, superior to the others on the market for a number of reasons. Um, our actuators, first of all, are larger than most others. Okay, they are longer, they have an attachment point further out on the gate than say compared to a, an LA400 system. Um, so the further we reach out on the gate, the more leverage we have on the gate and the better we can move and manipulate that gate and open and close it um, and, and just have a better angle of attack on that gate to function. Uh, the merger between Nice Group USA or Apollo gate operators and high security are gonna give us a ton of, of benefits uh, the tagline for high security has always been simple, reliable, secure. Um, Apollo has had the simple and the reliable end of it. Uh, we've had simple systems, we've had reliable systems. But now with these two merged companies, um, we have a range of products from all the way down the simple residential systems that Apollo has always been strong in, the rural, farm and ranch, single family residential, linear actual style operators, all the way into the commercial products with high security, the industrial products, and even into the anti-terrorism, anti-crash units that high security has become known for. So with one company now, with these two companies merged, we're able to fill anybody's needs for any type of a, a access control system. All of the engineering resources that we have together now as two comp companies, I think we're going to make the operators better. I think they're going to make them better for the installer, again, easier for the installer to, to install, easier to set up, and get all these features out of them. Because a lot of people, as I said before, they don't understand how much closer this is really to rocket science. Uh, it's not just opening and closing a gate. There's a lot more to it than that.